Ladies and gentlemen, let's stay together. All right, we're going to have a little bit of Al playing in my background, which means he's going to be playing in your foreground. And so while he's, you step out of the way when they call four, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to figure out something, and I'm hoping some of you guys can help me out. Those of you who are normally used to my channel, you're used to me sitting up here going, how come nobody's brought this out? How come nobody's been talking about this? So some of you researchers out there, we're going to give you something to research. Because I've been shouting this and saying this. I've told people when I was searching the codes, the laws, and everything when I was 15 years old. I knew this stuff. Because it was there. It, it just, it was there. That's what I was reading. So let me show it to you. The basis for the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals decision in United States versus Brown is the Commerce Clause of the United States Constitution. The Commerce Clause gives Congress the power to regulate commerce among the states, with foreign nations among the several states, and with, pay attention, Indian nations or tribes. The United States versus Brown, the Fifth Circuit held that the National Motor Vehicle Traffic Safety Act of 1966, which requires states to have a system of driver's licenses, does not apply to intra, within the state, state carnival. The court reasoned that the act does not promote safety on the nationals high, nation's highways and that requiring driver's license for intrastate travel would not advance that purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care about none of that junk. What I care about is that Congress was exercising... Hey, Al, Al, give me a second, okay? I got to talk to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, let's break it down for a second. This is not going to be a long video. Less than four minutes. Congress exercised the authority to enact a law that required the states because they received federal funding. This is your proof that the states received federal funding for the highways. Ladies and gentlemen, they used the Commerce Clause. The Commerce Clause is federal. The Commerce Clause says that they only have jurisdiction to regulate commerce, not your regular public private. No, 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 property. It really is just that simple. You don't believe me? Go and read the case. Congress did this on a, under its Commerce, Claw, Commerce Claw, Clause. Sorry. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm ready to go to sleep. Like I said, under four minutes, ladies and gentlemen, go do the math. Congress gave the authority for driver's licenses under the Commerce Clause. Driver's licenses exist under the Commerce Clause. No other clause, no other government law gives them the authority to regulate your travel on the highways. It was 1966 they came up with this junk. So as long as you know this, now you got some research to do. So our Fourth Amendment securing one's property, people, one of the last couple of documents that you're going to be receiving is going to be on this subject right here. That's why I'm doing this is because that's what I'm working on. Got to go. Have a good day, y'all. Peace out.